So here we have the FilterStorm website. I'm just going to give a quick demonstration as to how you can make this banner image in FilterStorm Pro. So first, let's open it up. Here's the original photograph that that image was taken from. We have several things we want to do here. We want to uh, brighten up this yellow a bit. We want to make the background white. And we want to make this red green and add in the text finally. Uh, also, we should straighten it out a little bit. And let's see. There we go. That's pretty straight. And then let's go. We could take our white balance here and just select a point to get the background like that. But because I'm selectively coloring anyway, I'm just going to use black and white tool. And I'm going to pull back the reds while pushing green and blue. And since I want this yellow to stay, I'm going to paint the yellow back on. So let's take a brush here. Let's make it big. Let's quickly paint that on. And down here too. And then just erase where I go over. Oops, finger slip. Let's just do that quickly again. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Um, now it's a little orange, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my curves, go to yellow, and pull up the yellow a bit to make that a bit brighter, like on the site. There we go. I'm going to apply that with the mask. And again, I'm just going to paint that on. Whoops, I moved the... <laughs> okay, I think that's straight again. Let's keep going. And just, once again, erase where I went over. There we go. Now let's make this green. I'm going to take my hue controls, push the green, and make it also a little cyan to get that aquamarine color that I am using right now. Oh, that's pretty close. And again, we'll just brush that on. Okay. So now, well, I'm going to change the curves on that a bit, make it a bit closer to the green that I want, or the brightness I want. And again, just quickly brush that on. There we go. Also, let's look at the saturation and see if that looks good. I'll push it up a little bit. Okay, now let's uh, fade it to white on the top and bottom, like on the site. Take the color tool. It's on white already, so I'll just apply that with a mask. Take my gradient here. Do once on the top. There we go, and once on the bottom. Now all I have to do is add the text. So we'll take my text tool. Center it. Type in Filter Storm Pro. Make this black. And we're going to use 
Helvetica, although on the actual site it's not Helvetica, it's another font I have licensed that isn't on uh, FilterStorm for licensing reasons. Okay, and we're going to put it there. And apply with mask, so we can take our gradient, we can make it fade in, as it does on the site. There we go. Add the gradient. And we are going to then erase the text from here so that it looks like it's peeking out from behind the uh, from behind the filter. Slightly more erased from this eye. That looks pretty good. Oops. Keep pushing this off. And there we have it. If I want to size it exactly, I believe it was 984 pixels wide. So I can just scale it down. And that's it. Thanks for watching.